Thank you, Dr. Haller. Good morning and good, good afternoon, Chicago. <clears throat> in next five minutes, I'm going to talk to you about what I did at uh, Jackson, uh, in, uh, at Henry Ford Allegiance Health in Jackson County, Michigan, how I developed this program, and what are we doing with all this information that we have. In the summer of 2015, this 60-year-old uh, male who came to our screening city, and what we found, what we found is a, a, a one centimeter mass in the <coughs> left lower lobe that was surgically resected and turned out to be stage one lung carcinoma. He feels that in a screening city has saved his life. Now, you know, today he's uh, uh, cancer free and he attended probably the most important day of his, uh, of his life in just last summer and that was his daughter's wedding. Just imagine, you know, what, what can happen with a jet, this jet plane carrying 350 passengers on board and crashes. And if it crashes every day for next one year, that is about 130,000 patients that are, that are dying of lung cancer. By the time I finish my talk, there will be about three more lung cancer uh, diagnoses and two more lung cancer deaths. <clears throat> this man was not that so, so lucky. You know, by the time, you know, he came to our department for our evaluation of hemoptysis and chest pain, we found a right upper lobe mass. By the end of the day, we found a stage four lung carcinoma. Now, stage, stage one cancer uh, uh, detection, uh, stage one uh, survival rate for all lung cancer is about 85 to 90 percent if the, the cancer is detected on time as well as a proper appro appropriate treatment is given. For stage four, it's almost it's six percent or less. <clears throat> the problem is smoking. 90 percent of lung cancer. Uh, are due to smoking. We have 100 million smokers in this country, 30 million of them are uh, former smokers, and 10 million of them are eligible for smoking, uh, for uh, screening. We are screening at this point only about 5% of the population. Now imagine you know, what we can do if we, if we, uh, we are able to screen all those patients, because if we do that, we can uh, save about 20,000 lives a year. <clears throat> Smoking not only causes lung cancer, but all of the diseases that are in the, uh, shown here in this pie chart. Combined, it, it uh, causes about uh, 443,000 people to die from all these uh, combined illnesses. I think we as radiologists are in a very good position to offer appropriate timely imaging for all these patients. And I think this is a time to really rebrand our profession by offering appropriate timely workup to all these you know, vulnerable population. At uh, Henry Ford Allegiance Health in Jackson County, what do we do? We have a very simple goal. Find a cancer very early in the, in the stage, uh, help them quit smoking, and of course, provide a very satisfying, unique service to, the, to our patient population. To that end, what we do? What we do is, uh, you know, uh, in 2015, we started a patient-centered lung cancer screening CT program. Uh, patient comes in, we offer the screening five hours uh, uh, once a week. All the new, new patients are screened during that time. Uh, patient undergoes this uh, uh, low dose CT, then patient is then uh, uh, <clears throat> taken to a smoking cessation counselor where there is a one-on-one -on -one, uh, 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 meeting and uh, uh, she provides all the motivations as well as all the uh, uh, tools that, that she has at, at her service. And the patient is brought to my reading room and, and I go over the findings, I give them the results in their hands, and by the time patient leaves, the patient is very satisfied, they really appreciate our service, and they really love it. But until today, you know, we have found about, we have uh, done about 2,800 patients, about 75% of 75 cancers we have found. If you look at the graph here, the stage four detection rate was uh, about 40%. Uh, at the time of uh, our screening then in 2015, it went down to about 14% uh, uh, as a, and then stage one cancer went up from 60% uh, to about 88%. Um, uh, For smoking cessation rate, you know, we have about, you know, increase of a smoking a quit rate from 4% uh, to about 10%. And that is all possible because, you know, we have developed the team-based approach to this patient uh, the screening program. Uh, all the patients, you know, we have one-on-one -on -one interaction. They come to us, you know, they are very satisfied when we talk to them about their findings, about their, you know, uh, what, what they are going through. All the appointments are given by the time uh, when the patient is, is with us in our room. And then when the patient leaves, and this all happens within 30 minutes. And the, uh, when the patient leaves, is they are very, very, very happy. Uh, um, I would say that I cannot talk to all the patients every time, but 
you know, uh, at least if I can talk to some patients and if I find a few early lung cancers, I think, you know, and we can save some lives and I give some more time to their family and their friends, I think I have done my service and I think I feel, a, you know, a sense of satisfaction. Thank you.